Fair Play Projects. Hi, I'm going to show you two ways to tie a knot at the end of your thread before you start sewing. Both of them work just the same, so it's really your choice which one you like best. First up, I'll show a quilter's knot, which is fun and kind of seems like magic. So hold your needle in your right hand and the thread end in your left hand. Then transfer the um, thread end to the right fingertips and pinch it. And now with your left fingertips, wrap the thread around the end of the needle a few times and then pinch those wraps with your right fingertips. This reminds me a lot of tying a French knot if you've ever done that. So you're gonna pinch those wraps with your right hand and then pull the needle through those wraps and just keep pulling the thread through, pull the thread through until the end, you'll get this very nice little knot that appears at the end here. So that is a quilter's knot. We're gonna cut that off so I can show you the next one. Um, I'm not sure of the official name of this knot, but we will call it a finger wrap knot. So to do a finger wrap knot, you're going to put the needle down because you don't need it. You're going to tie it on the end here. And um, you're going to wet your right index finger and then wrap the thread around your finger so that it forms this little X on your finger. Um, then you're going to pinch the X with your thumb and roll it while you're pinching it off the tip of your right finger. Then pinch uh, those rolls there with your middle finger on your right hand and pull it, pull those pinched rolls down towards the end of the thread and you'll feel it. It makes a knot. So that is the finger roll knot. Either way, both knots work great. It's up to you and you're ready to get sewing.